Hello, it is Sunday, February 25th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday crossword today, which means we're going to be solving a big jumbo grid entitled Special Treatment. It's a Sunday crossword, so there will be a theme and, as I just indicated, a title. And this themed entitled Special Edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by uh, Josh Allen, Mike from Vermont, Daily Buzzard, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They're benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. So they keep this channel going day in, day out. For that, I'm very grateful. And if you would like to join them in supporting this channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the description field link and you'll find all of the bonus videos available to patrons um, as well as for benefactors, the Let's Check the Crosses official mug. Thanks to those four I mentioned, but thanks as well to everybody who backs the Patreon campaign at any level. I really do appreciate it and it does sustain this series. Um, thanks as well if you've joined the Daily Solve Discord chat server. It's a nice friendly chat community over there, so it's really more of a favor to yourself than to me, but it's available via the description field link. And finally, it's also, of course, very much appreciated if you subscribe to the channel on YouTube, recently past 15,000 subscribers, which was very uh, encouraging. And also, if you'd like to help out in other ways, you can like the videos, comment on them, and so forth. All right, let's get on to the crossword. This is a construction by Scott Hogan and Katie Hale. Scott Hogan, a small handful of puzzles, and Katie Hale, around 10, I believe. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving special treatment and see what's in store for us today. Favors. Could be a noun or a verb. Mm, but I'm not sure which. Slathered in sauce in restaurant speak. In restaurant speak, I don't know. Slathered in sauce. Hmm, I'm, I'm not sure what that's getting at. Letters on security camera footage. CCTV? Closed caption TV? I mean, I don't know if that footage is on, I don't know if that those letters are on the footage itself, but those are certainly letters that represent uh, security sort of camera security apparatus because they're on a closed circuit. They're just, you know, internal to the to the environment. Let's see. It's totally corny. I'm seeing if that works here. A cob, a corn cob would be corny. Step in origami, crease. Uh, wow, boy, I haven't thought about origami in a long time, but um, yes, often you do have to fold the paper and then, and then crease it to make a nice clean crease. Educational forum is what? An educational forum is, I'm not sure. What about this one? Cookie with, it, with its name on it. There we go. This is a new way of cluing the official snack cookie of the New York Times crossword, the Oreo, which does have that sort of ornate uh, sort of relief with that includes the word Oreo printed onto it, sort of stamped onto it. Um, educational forum is a teach... Uh, I don't know. What about this? Gave a thumbs down. Voted no. You voted no on something. You gave it a thumbs down. Ah, and here's a theme clue. We can tell because it's italicized, which generally will indicate theme clues. I visited the cardiologist who... Okay, this will probably be something punny around... Oh, something about a heartbeat, probably, because we have... Beat can be spelled there. Who felt a heartbeat or something like that. Maybe this one will be a story or, you know... I don't know. And uh, let's see. Oh, no, it's not heartbeat. Oh, never mind. Because this blank lingus, this is Aer Lingus. This is a um, major air carrier from Ireland. So what is this then? Let's just keep going. Apt letters that complete this word. P blank, R P O blank, blank. Um, purpose? Yes. The, the letters in this in this case are use, and something's use could be said to be its purpose, the thing for which it's used. Okay, actress Thompson of Creed. It must be Tessa Thompson, who I who I recognize, although I've not seen Creed, nor have I seen any Rocky movie, somewhat shockingly. It's a big, big hole in my film viewing history, I suppose. Slathered in sauce. Let's see. Wet. You do sometimes see things like you could have a burrito served wet with a, you know, covered in, in sauce. 
which I don't think is what I would order personally, but I have seen that offered. So maybe that's what we're looking for here. GameCube successor is the Wii. There we go. That's the Nintendo video game console that was released after the GameCube. Okay. So result is something. Okay. So the result could also be a noun or a verb, just like our one across. But in this case, I think it's, it's a verb. If something will result, it will ensue. It will follow. It will happen next. Cosecants reciprocal. This is a trigonometric function. Um, I don't remember all of the relationships between these, but in this case, it certainly looks like the sign. And I, 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 like I say, I couldn't explain to you why, why the sign is the reciprocal of the cosecant, but there we go. Okay, mascara mishap could be a smear, smeared mascara, perhaps. Oh, I visited the cardiologist who didn't miss a beat. There we go. Okay, so yeah, that's a good, good straightforward sort of pun. If you do, if you don't miss a beat, you perform uh, flawlessly um, or coolly under pressure, perhaps. You could use it to mean that as well. And the cardiologist didn't meet, miss any heartbeats. So there we go. Okay, rock band with a slash, but not slash. So with a slash, the punctuation mark, but not slash the guitarist. So um, ACDC, they have, I think they style their name with a slash between the two uh, abbreviations. Okay, favors. Asks, oh, right. Yeah, you could say, yeah, I have it. I have it a favor. I have an ask. That, oops, that I think is correct, or at least plausible. So let's see this. Like much of Iran, my first guess here would be Shia, as in Shia Islam as opposed to Sunni Islam, um, as opposed to a geogra something like a geographical feature or something like that. I think that's probably what this is. So let's look at the crosses and see. Pet you wouldn't take to the vet. Well, you wouldn't take your Chia pet to the vet. Those are those uh, ceramic, uh, I don't know, what do you call them? Shapes. I, sometimes they're heads with holes through which Chia plant grows. Okay. Sue Monk Blank, author of The Secret Life of Bees. I um, don't know. I've not read this. Is it Kid? Maybe Sue Monk Kid? Club assistant. Yes, I think it is because this would be an assistant at a golf club, a caddy, someone who I suppose carries your clubs around for you. Castle mineral. Sorry, that was a strange read. Castle material, maybe. Uh, oh, sand is in a sand castle that's already been filled in. I didn't even realize. And then here we have a proctor's pronouncement. Time, maybe. So a proctor might be overseeing uh, an exam and they might call time when it's when when time is up. And it's time to put pencils down. I visited the dermatologist. Okay, so it's not a continuous story. These are going to be different doctor puns, I suppose. So I visited the dermatologist who made a... Hmm, who It's probably who made, went under, died? As in a company, sort of company went under, it died? Went under... Probably. Well, I don't know, though. This has an I at the end. The greatest as well as the most elegant of Roman philosophers per Voltaire. Oh, well, probably Cicero. Um, so then what would this? Went under. Sorry, I'm just really curious what this is. Uh, oh, dove. As in dove under the water. That was that was straightforward, actually, as it turns out. So then, so I, I, visit, I visited the dermatologist who made... I don't know why I can't see it. I mean, something to do with skin, but I just can't can't see it. Nailed. If you nailed, well, maybe the exam that the proctor called time on, if you nailed it, you aced it. You did a, you performed flawlessly. You didn't miss a beat. It, it all comes together. Educational forum. I mean, it looks like teacher, but it's not really a forum. What am I missing about this answer? Oh, it, oh made a rash decision. Oh, maybe... Right. Okay. So you had a rash on your skin. You went to the dermatologist and the dermatologist made a decision about the rash, made a rash decision, which in this case is, you know, the idiom made a rash decision is sort of the opposite of didn't miss a beat. You, know, you made a, made a foolish move in haste. Okay. So I still don't know what the educational form is. Sorry about that. What about this? The do in do re mi. Um, I mean, it's the first note of the scale. I'm not sure what we're looking for here. Do, re, mi. 
the, hmm, I don't know, the, it's the one, the one note, I don't know. Um, old yeller, question mark. Someone old who yells, a codger or something like that, wouldn't fit. A coot also wouldn't fit, hmm, not sure. Rob in Hollywood, Rob Reiner, the film director. Um, it was a, an astonishingly broad range of films. I think, you know, things like A Few Good Men, This Is Spinal Tap, uh, When Harry Met Sally, The Princess Bride. I mean, just a ridiculously, like this, I mean, every single one of those is essentially a completely different genre. Um, anyway, here we go. Asia's Disappearing Errol C. There we go. That I can put in for sure. And revealing word. A revealing word is... Voila. Yeah, okay. I could see. Yes, okay. That makes sense. You reveal something. You maybe pull the curtain back and say, voila, there it is. Um, you know, in French, you know, there it is. Okay. Educational forum. Teach. What is this? How is this so confusing to me still? Teach in? A teach in? Is that like an event in the, in the, in the sense of a sort of a sit in or something like that? I just can't think of what anything else this would be. Like a money back guarantee, no loss or no risk. There we go. No risk. Okay. I, I guess it is a teach in. Okay. Well, there we go. That must be the answer. So what about this one? The doe and doe me. Oh, a doe, a deer, a female deer. Yes. Ray, a drop of golden sun goes the song. Okay. So this isn't, and I should have paid attention to the fact that do re mi is in quotation marks here. So it's, it's in this case, it's not referring to do re mi in and of itself, the solfege system in music that represents different notes. It's specifically referring to the song, Do, Re, Mi. Okay, I should have thought about that. But I didn't. There's a there's a there's something to remember uh, when things are formatted in that way. Okay, so an old yeller is a crier. Oh, like a town crier. Right, Some a sort of outdated uh, position. Um, that's why old and then yeller, they literally would yell proclamations and things. Okay, wheel this vehicle. A sled could, is a vehicle with no wheels. And Otis of elevator fame. If I had been asked to just remember this off the top of my head, I would have said Elihu, but maybe it's Elijah, because that doesn't fit. But this does. Let's just see if that works. Puts the pedal to the metal. Accelerates or... I'm not sure. Spanish salutation. Hola, maybe. Is it Elishu, maybe? Something, it's something like this, but I can't quite remember. Equivalent to of 32,000 ounces, a ton, perhaps? They might come out of the woodwork. Ants? Maybe? lived in, dwelt in, as in a dwelling. Bitter brews are IPAs, India Pale Ales. Okay, okay, maybe this is right. Puts the pedal to the metal. Yeah, I think it is. If you put the pedal to the metal, you accelerate, you step on it. So steps on it. Fits puts the pedal to the metal. And a pack of dogs, question mark. And natural decorations on some bookshelves. Vines, some, occasionally see sort of, uh, you know, drooping sort of vines that people place on their bookshelves. I don't know if that's what we're looking for here. Uh, California Wine Valley. Oh, we've had Napa twice, I think, in the past week or so. But this is a different California Wine Valley. So this is Sonoma Valley as opposed to Napa Valley. It's useful to know your California wine country, apparently, in the crossword recently. And then non-stereo is mono. So stereo meaning two audio channels, mono meaning a single audio channel. Button on social media is ad, as in add a friend or something? Maybe. What about this? Skin. Well, the skin of a fruit could be its rind, so it probably is ad. Uh, and here's another theme clue. I visited a, spe a sleep specialist who, oh, I see, something about nods or to nod off to fall asleep, who gave me the nod or something like that. I don't know pack of dogs. And dogs is, is, has a question, well, the clue has a question mark, which may, may apply, to, apply to dogs or may apply to pack. If it's dogs, it could be your feet, maybe? Pack of dogs. 
winners? Why? Why is that? Why would that be the case? Just a word that would fit there is all, but I don't quite understand why. Takes the blame for. Cops too. If you cop to something, you take the blame for it. Uh, do some engraving to etch something. Okay, so, you know, we're sort of following a funny winding and wending path through the, the grid here, but that's okay. Color blending technique. Actually, you know what? Sorry, now that I say that, I realize I should need to finish off this corner because we're not getting any more help. We're not going to get any additional crosses. We've already gotten all the crosses we're going to get. So we may as well finish it off. What do you mean, huh? Could be that. And then big flings are hurls or hoists or heaves. That's a big fling, sort of heaving something, flinging it. And and obviously big flings, you might think a romantic fling, but uh, this just seemed more likely to me for some reason. And I think it's probably the case. Blank Barbarino, John Travolta's role on Welcome Back, Cotter. I don't actually know that I've ever seen Welcome Back, Cotter. I mean, maybe once on reruns when I was very young, but I don't know. Um, looks like maybe an Italian name? I don't know. Heretofore. Um, air now, maybe? Just sort of similarly formal or poetic language? Let's try it and see. Fashion something fashionable, maybe. Well, actually, now I'm doubting myself about heretofore. Let's come back to that. Call, car that Brits call a saloon. That would be a sedan. So there we go. A four-door car. One of four on a diamond. Um, it could be a diamond as in the precious gem. It could be a diamond as in the basic shape. Uh, it could be a diamond as in a baseball diamond. I don't think I know which, so let's keep going. Bullheaded, question mark. Oh boy, this corner is not, it's not yielding, is it? Partner of Hoda on today. Okay, I don't know. This will be a television host. I do not know. Here we have, fa oh, fashion something fashionable, right? And then what, what, what is this? Setting for some post-run refreshments. Après ski, there we go. So uh, literally after ski or after skiing in French, although the French themselves, I don't think, actually use this, this term. I think it is actually sort of an, an anglicism. Uh, so what about this? One of four, oh, an umpire. Are there four umpires on a diamond, on a baseball diamond? I didn't know that, but I think it must be the answer. Kind of keyboard, an emoji, you right. Okay, you could have a virtual emoji keyboard on your phone. To, uh, to enter emojis. Okay, so bullheaded, horrid, horned, horned, I see, <laughs> because bulls have horns. So if you're bullheaded, you would be horned. And the question mark there indicates this is a bit of a punny, silly answer. Okay, so what about this? Oh, Vinny, maybe Vinny Barbarino. It is an Italian sort of ish sounding name, or at least a, um, you know, kind of Italian American vibe, I guess, more accurately. Partner of Hoda on today, Jenna, I guess it's Jenna. And then heretofore, Air Now. Oh, isn't that what I said? I wonder why I wonder why I thought maybe that wasn't right. And to fashion something fashionable maybe would be to sew. Okay, right. So sewing doesn't necessarily have anything to do with being fashionable, but you could be fashioning something fashionable. That's why the maybe is there. And the important part is that you're fashioning. Okay, well, there we have it. Good. We've finished off this little corner. Something uninspired is uh, blah or so-so or what? Bamboozles. If you bamboozle someone, you con them. Oops, so cons. And then having two equal sides is isohedral or something like that. Uh It's some, something to that effect. It's ISO. It'll be ISO something for same. But um, you can't. Uh, let's let's try this and see if it works. Uninspired. Okay, so so uninspired. That was one of my ideas. I visited a dentist and now I know something. Now I. 
Caribbean, yeah, okay, maybe it is no, because Caribbean musical genre would be ska, certainly, in this context anyway. And then I visited a dentist, and now I know the, and now I know a dentist. What would, what would a pun be around teeth or dentistry? Now I know the, I can't think what it is. Long quest, an ordeal. No, it isn't that. Uh, it's not long enough. Long quest is an... Roth IRA. So this is a U.S. Um, tax advantage retirement investment instrument, a Roth individual retirement account. So that's what that is. At least I assume that's the answer. Uh, it's involved in kissing and telling. Lip, maybe? In the sense that you kiss, you know, your, your, your lips are involved with kissing and also with speaking, but also you could even say you've got some lip. No, you, that's not necessarily the case, but I think it might be lip, um, just in terms of it being literally involved in each of those two elements. So, oh no, the drill. I know that now I know the drill, right? Because the dentist used to drill on your teeth. Okay. Well, there we go. That's the answer. All right. Long quest is an odyssey. There we go. That's what it is. That's what it is. And then pr to prattle is to yap, to go on and on. To set forth is to Um, hmm. Maybe this isn't isohedral. This probably isn't isohedral. It's probably something else. Uh, set forth is to assess, to uh, to set an idea forth, to assert. There we go. I had to think of it in that terms. Uh, having two equal sides is. Oh, I can't think. Behaved like the lion in Oz. The cowardly lion cowered. So there we go. Um, and then, you know, coward is in shrunken fear. Hint to the number of ingredients in Triscuits. <laughs> uh, try, I guess, would be the hint. That seems strange to just lit literally repeat part of the word in here. Although I suppose that happens when, when you get clues that say things like, name hidden in whatever and it's then and the, the the letters are right there and you just reproduce them in the grid so i guess it's not unheard of but it feels slightly surprising to me that we're just taking the beginning of triscuits and putting it in here but i guess there are probably three ingredients in triscuits pinches um crimps maybe as in you know some pastry or you know, hair or clothing or something any number of things can be crimped i guess Web page code, web, web page, web page code would be HTML hypertext markup language. And I visited the anesthesiologist and now I've lost, lost feeling or lost my nerve. Oh, maybe just lost my nerve because that is, that is a phrase and your nerves are sort of, you know, numbed if you've been anesthetized. Okay. So it might be a stretch, a pose, maybe a, you know, a certain pose could, could be, could stretch you out. Home of the 123-story Lot World Tower. I'm not sure offhand. What about this? Ridiculously. If, it, if something's ridiculously large, it's maybe too large, perhaps? Bean variety with an M. Mung bean? Oh, is this Seoul then? Seoul, South Korea. Okay, that must be the case. Okay, well, there we go. Olive blank of Popeye. Olive oil is the character from Popeye. And scenario before a two-run home run, say. Uh, unsurprisingly, I don't immediately know this. Scenario before a two-run home run, say. I guess if I just think about it logically, if a home run results in two runs, there'd be one person already on one of the bases. So maybe one on, is that a phrase perhaps? I think that might might actually have a chance of being right, but we'll, we'll, we'll remember that I was unsure so that I might have to change it. Allowed to be, if something's allowed to be borrowed, oh, lent. And maybe this isn't lost my nerve. Is it because, you know, if something was lent, if, if he lent you something, he allowed it to be borrowed. Um, okay. So I guess that isn't lost my nerve. Okay. Sorry, ass, question mark. 
Eeyore is an ass, a donkey in um, uh, Winnie the Pooh, the, the Milne stories, who is, you know, very sorry in the sense of being very self-pitying. Okay, there we go. So U.S. fair hiring initials, uh, equal employment opportunity, I believe that is. So I visited the anesthesiologist and now I've lost my touch. Ah, okay. Same idea, I suppose. <laughs> Um, your sense of touch you've, you've lost. Um, so the nerves in your fingers, in that case, speaking of nerves. And we doing this, you might ask, you in or you game, maybe? You game, we doing this? Natural decorations on some bookshelves are, st still unclear to me, and 11 in El Salvador, um, uh, Once or something like that for 11. I mean, 11 in most European languages is something like, you know, comparable to that. Well, I should say most Romance languages. Natural decorations on some bookshelves. Oh, geodes. Do people put geodes on bookshelves? I guess, I guess maybe, yeah. Those are those, um, you know, rocks with kind of brilliant, brilliant sort of gem kind of crystal formations inside. Um, okay, so what about this? To have someone over is to host them at your home, for instance. And a forehead palm smack, so the in um, in quotes, sorry, not in quotes, in uh, square brackets, this can refer to a kind of exclamation in this case. It can mean different things. In this case, it's something you might cry out that, that's not really language. It's just a cry. So do, as you smack your forehead and yell, do, I made a mistake. And then pack of dogs is a wieners. Oh, okay. As in hot dogs. There we go. So that's the pack. The pack is the, you know package you might buy at the grocery. So there we go. That was not clear to me initially. I visited a sleep specialist who gave me the nod. Okay. I think I guessed something to that effect. I can't remember if it was this precisely, but, but there we have it. The sleep specialist helped this person nod off to sleep. Blank's Ma Blank Max, singer of the 2018 hit Sweet But Psycho. I don't know. I mean, Eve or Ava or something like that could fit or Ivy, but I don't, I don't know. Neighbor of MD, Maryland. Uh, what is a neighbor, uh, neighboring state of Maryland? Delaware? Lovelace of early computer programming. There we go. Ada Lovelace considered by, by some to be the first computer programmer, um, depending on how you count such things, but you know, a perfectly legitimate claim. And then there we have Blank Max, singer of the 2018, right? Okay. Don't know. It looks like Ava though, doesn't it? Professional who works a lot. Who works a lot. Oh, a valet. So this is, I think, fairly North American specific language to refer to somebody who would park a car on your behalf. So they're working a lot in the sense of working a car lot, you know, a car park. So, um, there we go. That'll be that'll be the answer. And then to swear something is to aver it, to claim it to be true. Oh, but it could be a vow, actually. Maybe a vow is better for swear, to, to claim something to be true, to avow it. Let's look at the crosses here. Change positions, as in volleyball. Ooh, actually kind of like an E being there for that. Let's leave this blank for now. Let's jump up here. We haven't we haven't looked at this little bit. Alternative to foil or saber. So these are swords. So an ape used in, in fencing, which a foil could be as well. And I don't remember exactly the, I guess ape is used in ape and then a foil in fencing, I guess. Okay. Oh, isosceles having two equal sides. Oh, I, okay. I don't know why I didn't think of that first. Okay. Well, there we go. I think that's the answer. Um, as in, a, as in um, an isosceles triangle or something like that gets in shape. If one gets in shape, question mark, one molds something. So not gets in shape in the idiomatic sense of, um, of getting fit, but rather getting in shape more literally as indicated by the pun indicator there, you force something into shape, you mold it. Okay. Man's name that becomes a distance. If you move, move the first letter to the end, Emil becomes mile. There we go. So fortunately I already had that first letter there in the crosses, which was helpful. Okay, sponge feature is, I don't know, sponge feature, what is that? Peak is ire, a bit of anger, peak ire. 
And, oh, pore. I see a sponge has lots of pores. It's literally porous, um, which is how liquid goes through it. And then one with a landlord is a, uh, a lessee. Um, so the landlord does the leasing and then the lessee, um, you know, leases it from the landlord, the tenant. Okay. To erupt could be to spew maybe if, uh, you know, a volcano erupts, it spews lava. Hunt is, oh, to prey on a creature would be to hunt it. And then corporate shuffle could be a reorg, a reorganization and Corporate or corporation being abbreviated to CORP indicates we will also abbreviate something in the answer. So reorganization is abbreviated to reorg. Double wide as a garage could be a two car garage. There we go. It's twice the width of a standard one car garage. And sports center anchor Linda, unsurprisingly, I do not know. We'll move on. Swears could be... Uh, Alleges, maybe? I swear this is the case. I allege it to be true in court. I'm not certain this is right. Let's just see if we can get any crosses. Part of most musical notes. All right, most musical notes, but not all, have a stem. A uh, whole note, for instance, would not have a stem, but others would. Filled, folded, you know, the little stick that comes out of the circular bit of the note. Filled, folded food. Filled, folded food. Empanada doesn't fit. Um, what would fit in only four letters with an E? I'm sure it'll be quite obvious when I see it. Let's look at, the, although this might not be alleges. Maybe I'll delete that for now. Paul ou Paulette. So the ou is or in French. And um, that suggests the answer will be, uh, the answer will be French as well. So it could be non for name. Um, and then what about this? Fil filled folded food. Well, it's not an Oreo. <laughs> Is it an ego? I've never actually had an ego waffle. Are they filled and folded? I don't know. I'm, I'm only thinking that because of the E that was here, but I don't actually know that that is necessarily an E. Filled, folded food. Oh, a taco. It's a taco. Okay, so this is not an E. Okay, so this isn't a ledges. So that, that's good to have learned anyway. Okay, well, there we go. Taco is straightforward. Ancient Greek area north of Thessaly. Um, my geography is going to fail me here. Thrace, uh, blank beer. I don't, I have no clue if that's right. It probably isn't Uh blank beer, non-alcoholic beverage, root beer. Maybe does that help me at all with this? Swears. I don't know. Root could be wrong. I'm sure there are other non-alcoholic beers. Um, it's Linda thing isn't helping at all either. Knocking, onomatopoeia, rat a tat. Okay, I don't think this is root. So onomatopoeia meaning the um, you know words that represent sounds essentially. So you know rat a tat could be the sound of knocking on a door. Although maybe do I want to pee in there if you rap on a door? Rat. No, I think this is more likely. Okay, what about this? This beer. Oh, there's a rhyming, there's a rhyming thing, isn't there? There's something that rhymes with near beer. Yes, yes. Near beer is um, uh, non-alcoholic beer or beer with an extremely low alcohol content. Maybe this is Thrace. What about this? Change positions as in volleyball to re-something, re I assume, but I'm not sure what. Sports Center an anchor Linda... CERN? I, I don't know. Swear. Oh, you, if you attest to something, you swear to it. There we go. That's the answer. Okay. So then, okay. I don't know. This might be wrong. I visited the podiatrist and now I, oh, okay. So something, something with feet. So maybe this is an A. Stand on two feet or something. I don't know if I think that's right. Let's just see if we can confirm or deny. Anxiety condition for short. ADD maybe, or something else it could be. I'm not sure. MSNBC competitor. So that's a cable, US cable news. No, oh, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. That's what this will be. And then this will be CNN, cable news network. This is another one of those, like the name suggests. 
and then open as a toothpaste tube would be to uncap. Okay, so this is not stand on two feet, which I was not very confident about. Uh, I visited the podiatrist, and now I stand corrected. There we go. That's good. So your your standing literally was corrected by the podiatrist. Okay. So a garden statuette, you could have a gnome statue in the garden, and a female French friend is your ami. This is the um, feminine form of friend in French. And then to fix something would be to rig, as in, you know, if you fix a boxing match or something, you rig it. And then cribbage marker, a peg. I don't think I've ever played cribbage, but, but yeah, it's got pegs involved. Color blending technique, ochre, is that color blending technique as well as a color or not? I don't know. Title for a French priest. Pair for father. Lots of French today. I've had at least three so far, I think. Okay. Uh, what about this? Slowly cook in a way. Braise, maybe braising is typically, it doesn't literally mean slow, but it, but it's a, it tends to be a slow, a method of slow cooking. Um, oh, ombre. Something about shadow, maybe, is the color blending technique. Does that work with this? I visited the radiologist who, oh, saw right through me. There we go. You know, performed an x-ray or something like that. Okay, well, great. There we go. So I think we've done all of the theme clues. So now, sw oh, to swear is to aver. That was my first thought, I believe. And then to change positions in volleyball is to re... Eight. Hmm. Let me come back to this. <laughs> I might want this to be the last thing I put in the grid because I might have gotten something wrong. Oh, it's rotate. It's not re something. My first thought about change positions was wrong. So here we have Linda Cone and then rotate. It was Thrace, the ancient Greek area north of, north of uh, Thessaly. And then Soul Seller. Okay, I think this is Kia. I think Kia sells a vehicle called the Soul. I'm not sure what kind of what sort of format of vehicle it is, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And then Leo for one is a star sign. There we go. It's the lion. Okay. Like it came up, comeuppance, perhaps karmic, karmic comeuppance, sort of, you know, something that, that fit your previous actions and then rude or without its first two letters, rude person, crass. There we go. And you remove the first two letters, C-R, and you get an ass, a sort of rude, rude or belligerent person. Lemmy, lemmy, I wanna, you might yell. And the way that the clue is constructed with this contracted, slightly sort of childish um, expression of let me is very similar to how the answer is phrased in the similar contraction, I wanna. Um, so often the clues are, are very sort of conscientiously constructed in that respect. They will kind of point to the tone of the answer. All right, prenatal test tests in brief, amnios, um, amniotic test. I don't know what the full term for that is, but there we have it. Uh, lasting bad memories, so to speak, are scars. You can have sort of psychic scars. And then to call someone is to ring them up. And if one got tagged, and maybe I have something wrong. This looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Got tagged. Maybe ring up is, maybe the up bit is incorrect. What about this? Blank versus blank. Mad street. Oh, spy versus spy. Was a, uh, was, maybe is, I don't know, a, car a cartoon in Mad Magazine. I don't even know if Mad Magazine is still being printed. Uh, but here we have meager, which could be scanty. So a meager offering, a scanty offering. So one got tagged, got tagged. Oh, is out. Oh, okay. In the game of tag. If you got tagged, you are out. So uh, she got tagged. She is out. Uh, and then what about over here? Oh, in hangman. The head, I suppose, is the... If you draw hangman, the O represents the head, I guess. Uh, in the game, the word game, hangman. Mathematician, no thur. Oh, not sure offhand. Long. If you long for someone or something, you ache for it or them. And an express lane unit would be an item. So express lane might be open in a grocery store for six items or fewer, that kind of thing. And a quilter's line, 
Uh, so literally a line in a quilt that a quilter might make would be the seam. And finally, a current event would be an eddy. So in, uh, you know, currents in the ocean, in the sea, that kind of thing. And then uh, an eddy, a little whirlpool. And then here we have um, Emmy. Emmy Nother is our mathematician. And that's it. That was the Sunday crossword, a big jumbo grid. And as always, I mean, this felt to me gentler than some recent Sundays, and yet it still takes right about 40 minutes. I mean, there doesn't seem to be anything I can do to significantly alter that that broad, that sort of general duration. So who knows? But that's that's just how it tends to turn out. Uh, at least it's predictable. It seems to be for me anyway, on these, on these video solves, that is. And uh, let's look at our theme. We had our special treatment. So I visited the cardiologist who didn't miss a beat. I visited the dermatologist who made a rash decision. I visited a dentist and now I know the drill. I visited the anesthesiologist and now I've lost my touch. I visited a sleep specialist who gave me the nod. I visited the radiologist who saw right through me. And finally, I visited the podiatrist, and now I stand corrected. So quite an eventful day or or week or even month, that would be pretty extreme, I think, for this person. Um, But there we have it, a whole slew of medical visits. I think the implication is that most of these went reasonably well, although not the dermatologist, perhaps. So hopefully that wasn't too much of a disaster. Um, In any case, that was special treatment. We had a nice collection of puns uh, playing on standard English language idioms, and we used them to fill out a very large grid, which took about 40 minutes as usual. And that was that. I'll be back tomorrow with the Monday crossword, a much smaller grid, more approachable puzzle with a theme still. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. (laughs) 